We have reinstalled every single permanent collection in the museum, and so when the museum opens, it will be a complete transformation, not just a new wing. There's no substitute for actually experiencing this, um, this grand atrium, which Rick Mather calls the main street of the museum. It's obviously full of glass, uh, a giant 40 by 70 window on the, that faces the boulevard. His vocabulary is light and glass. Uh, you see a staircase that rises with, um, with no visible support. Railings are, are, are made of glass. You've got glass elevators. Uh, even the glass elevator has a glass ceiling. Here's the front door. This work of art is a major commission by a, a Virginia B artist. Brian McGinnis mined the museum's global collection that spans over 5,000 years and selected 200 works of art to then distill into these iconic pictographs. He then created these images in silk screen and silk screened them onto these 16 panels. So at visitors who enter the museum, the first thing they'll see is an interpretation of the museum's global collection through the eyes of a Virginia artist. We've installed many of the galleries, but as the galleries, as the art is being installed, it's obviously a very high security area. Uh, because art is exposed and vulnerable. Um, this is a Muse restaurant and obviously we're um, just about to set it up. It's an exciting time for us. This is a white tablecloth dining room. It's a, um, a fine dining room uh, that will open onto the beautiful sculpture garden with interior and exterior space. See, we'll have one of the most spectacular views in the museum. We're building out the hillside with this high density foam and, and then on the top of the foam we'll go a specially engineered soil as well as tree well and then we'll roll out the sod and plant the trees and the and the shrubbery to have a beautiful landscaped hillside as a part of the Robin Sculpture Garden. Works of art that come into the museum's collection become property of, of you, the taxpayers, and then we retain, maintain those works in perpetuity. In this space these um, elephant trunks are vents to capture any toxic fumes that may be generated during the conservation process to evacuate them from the building. Conservators need pure northern light to be able to see as they clean and conserve paintings. In this space, they have exactly what they need. The pop-out window that you see in the atrium is, looks into the ancient gallery. We are a comprehensive art museum. We have work over 5,000 years of world art, beginning with ancient and going through to the 21st century. There are not a lot of comprehensive art museums in the country, and when we open, we will be among the top 10 comprehensive art museums.